This is the Planus Taurus 800 Plus. It's a 3.5 inch dual bay static enclosure. As you can see, it's made of, uh, on the box, you can see it's made of aluminum. The interfaces we have for our Firewire 400 and 800, USB 2.0, and of course it's Mac and PC compatible. When we look at the back here, it gives the stats and the features of the product. Um, again, we have a triple interface design, so it uh, tells you the speeds of each of the interfaces, um, as well as um, tells you some of the Mac manufacturer's recommendations as well. For example, uh, using identical hard drives is recommended, so that means same manufacturer, capacity, and RPM. Let's look what's inside. So it of course comes with the manual and it comes in English, German, and Chinese. We have here the Firewire, Firewire 800 cables, the USB cables, and of course the Firewire 400 cables. Sorry, these are Firewire, Firewire, Firewire 800 cables. What's great about the Taurus is its aluminum side. It makes it uh, it makes, uh, makes it easy to dissipate excess heat and plus with the perforated front shield it makes it easier for heat to escape outside of the enclosure. What we also have is a powerful rear fan that actually automatically adjusts the heat, uh, automatically adjusts the fan speed according to the internal temperature. And of course we have the triple, we have the triple interface, so we have two Firewire 800s in the back, a USB and a Firewire 400 in the front. With the Taurus 800 Plus, we have a variable RAID setting. We can either go uh, RAID 0 spanning or RAID 0 striping, or you can turn it off completely and just have a, turn off a non-RAID system. And of course, we have the power supply. And the power cord. Great, so what we see now is how to install the two uh, SATA 3.5 inch hard drives. So on the bottom here we have four screws and I've already undone three of them. Let's do the last one here. And with the tour, similar to, to, the, to the, the actual retail box, it's just like a sleeve. So you just pull it out. comes in two parts. Put that to the side there. And here we have two SATA drives. Same size, same speed, same, uh, same manufacturer. So what you want to do there is install power supply. And then the east side of character. And then just place it inside. So what we're going to look at now is how to uh, set different rate settings. So in the back here, we have the RAID setting switch. And uh, maybe use a flathead screwdriver, a really small one, to adjust them and to move the, uh, the switches up and down.
like that. So if we're putting one and two both up, that means that we're using non-rate. So we'll see what happens on the desktop. It's important to know that every time you change a rate setting, you should, you should make sure your um, discs on the desktop are properly ejected and that your torus is turned off completely. Okay, this is interesting. What we see here are we have two drives because it's in non-RAID mode, so it just sees the two uh, SATA hard drives as two separate drives. Again, I'll eject it and I'll turn it off again. Now I'll turn it to with one up and two down. That looks about right. So right now it's uh, in striping mode, and it put the two set of hard drives as one large drive. And with a Mac OS, we just put it down here in the garbage bin to eject it. It's important to note when we turn off, um, we just press the on off switch once, and to turn off, just keep your finger on it for a couple seconds, and then it turns off like that. So finally, we'll look at the last setting. And we'll go two up, one down. And turn on again. And again, we're in striping mode, RAID 0 striping, and uh, it senses the two set of hard drives as one large drive, and in striping mode, you maximize the speed of your torus. So with this, we'll see how, we'll give it a test, give it a test run. Uh, select the torus, and check at this right speed. Uh, we use here and uh, graph and give it a start. with one gigabyte. And we'll give it a start. So there's calculate the average write speed, and right now it's calculate the average read speed. So with Torx 800 Plus, again, it's a uh, triple interface, dual bay, SATA hard drive. Again, with an aluminum enclosure, uh, great for heat dissipation, has a perforated front shield and a powerful rear fan. So there'll be no problem with keeping your, both your uh, 3.5 inch set of hard drives cool and operating, um, operating properly even under heavy use.